Welcome to the second heat of Match Retro or Series 7. Now, in this heat, there's a bit of a dilemma. We have one, Callum, one seeding in this heat. And that seeding is Wedgie. So, we don't know. Will Wedgie be the robot to make it through? But not only is it that, but we have the return of the Cube, Rubix. So, let's begin with our first match. Our first round battle. First up, here comes a very powerful flipper, but a bit uncontrollable. Galvin! And here is Galvin, Legend Rank number 47, competing in his seventh Mass Draft Raw Wars series. With a very powerful flipping weapon, however, flipper's a bit high and there's no streaming. That's took him out of many competitions before. Galvin last time lost in the first round to a very good Hypno Edge. Very good for Hypno Edge to use the skills needed to eliminate someone like Galvin. Galvin's been, been in MRW since the beginning, folks. An MRW veteran. Alongside everyone's favorite frog bot, Robo Frog. And here's Robo Frog, legend rank number 37, former two time tag team champion. Very popular with the fans, a former Heat finalist in Series 5. However, hello, it's a frog. Robo Frog lost in the first round to a very deadly melee last time round. Maybe this time he'll do better. Next up, everyone's favorite, a Master of Troubles wooden robot, because there's only one, Razor Blade. And this is Razor Blade, Legend Rank number 67, also competing in his seventh Master of Troubles series. Named by Green Machine 777 about two years ago, with a very powerful spinning blade, however, strong chassis, and it's got high ground clearance, it can easily be flipped. Razor Blade lost in the first round to Bogey when that high ground clearance was tested. And since it has no Shroomick, it was bye bye for the blade. Named by Green Machine 777, I think about two years ago. And lastly, probably the favourite for this heat, Zero is here! And here has got to be the favourite, Zero, Legend Rank number 51, with a very powerful flipper, maybe too powerful, it's flipped itself over a few times, maybe that could be the problem with Zero. So, who will win this? Uh, my money is on Zero, obviously. Royal Zero, stand by. Three, two, one, action. Who will it be? This is a very going to be a close contested first round battle. Lodo Frog comes in. This could be anyone. Razor Blade finally gets the blade off the seven series. Off the seven series, we get to see Razor Blade as he lifts something and get underneath something. That is a shock to be zero. Straight away, gets it underneath, wait a minute, Razor Blade, going for the glory, on Zero, the favourite in this match, but missed out Galvin, and Galvin lifts it by Zero, this is chaos by Zero here, this is a stop up action, Razor Blade again, goes for the elimination, that could cost him dearly and it has, Razor Blade for the elimination, Bill Trin with, no, no, he's not, he's out, he's out, come on Bill, Bill Trin, Cal Galvin, this great, Robo Frog will win! One, two, a Robo Frog threat away! Three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it's over! It's over! It's over! Ah, oh, Robo Frog! Just hit zero! But just out of time! See? Robo Frog, I think, has won the round! What a shocker! But Robo Frog has won the round. He picked zero. So it'll be zero and Robo Frog who goes through. And then our second. With some nice robots in a nice uh, variety. Here is the she here is the seed of the favourite, Wedgie! And here is the only seeding in this heat, Wedgie, seed number eleven, legend rank number thirty. Competing in his second Master Shortle series, he's made of the heat final in his first. Powerful rower, however, no streamic, low ground clearance as well, but high in some areas. Wedgie made it past qualifiers by beating Robolek before beating Z Force in the first round. But then the heat final, it was flipped out by by future C3, Massac. We should get some Wedgie chance going, Wedgie! And the only person who will know what I mean is Anderson 932. Hi. Um, and then we have a robot who is celebrating his 11th series. In Master Draws by naming a robot Titan Blade 11. And here is Titan Blade 11, legend rank number 28 with spikes. It's got a full body spinning capacity, however, again, no Streamek. A flipper could do easily well in this. 
Time Blade 11 made it past the first round by beating Czech King after a very big fight given by Czech King. But in the heat final, he was flipped out by Calamity Call 3 after nearly eliminating the two time series champion. With a body spinner, they've gone back to the body spinner, but this one, oh, 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 it's got spikes on it. This could be nasty for any of these cardboard drivers. They're all cardboard. And then, Z Force. Former seed number three. And here is Z-Force, legend rank number 24, a former semi-finalist. It wasn't series three though. A fragile weapon, have a very control. A great robot, maybe we'll see it back in the heyday this time round. Z-Force, however, in the first round of the last series, lost to Wedgie. Maybe this series, it could start getting back in the runs that it was in. However, his last match lost to zero in quick start. And lastly, undefeated in match controls, Grim Reaper. Hopefully he can fight better than he can enter the arena. And here is Grim Reaper, made by Cobra the Best, with a legend rank of 52 after only two matches. He's got good spikes, with no ground clearance for the spike point, however, he's got no Shremek. That could be a problem for this debutant in this series. Rules here, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. I was fully expecting Galvin to make it through with zero, but no, it's Robo Frog. It's a frog to make it through. The room comes straight in on a Titan Blade. A Titan Blade nearly has been pushed out of the already. Titan Blade now using the body spinner on Grim Reaper. Showing in, Grim Reaper. Doesn't even pale Grim Reaper, I just know he hasn't. Oh, I think he has now. He's walking on Wedgie. Watch out, Wedgie. Wedgie, get out of the way. Wedgie pushes in the sequel. Titan Blade. Has he got enough? He's got enough to take out! Oh! He just stabbed him! He stabbed Grim Reaper! Grim Reaper's got his picket! No! Wait a minute! Grim Reaper reversed his wrath! Oh! Grim now gets underneath! Piggy back time! No! Nearly! Again! Oh! You're not going to fly that now! Doesn't matter you got APD! You're out! Down goes Titan Blade! Remains, but I don't know how much energy is left in Grim Reaper. And the answer is, well, none! Wedgie has pitted Grim Reaper over the pit and out. See? Well, nearly, but sadly for you, Cobra the Best, Grim Reaper eliminated in the first round, and it'll be Wedgie and Z Force who go through to the next.